Wake up. Guys, wake up. What is it? Can I add my sister? Is she a pick me? No, I don't think so. Fine then. I just woke up. What's going on? I'm adding my sister. How old is she? Nine. Please be nice. Okay. Can I add my girlfriend? Sure. sure. System M for R C O O O has added Lily Road to for six. Sis. Oops. Haha. <laughs> I meant, who are you? I'm your sister. Ayo. What's going on? Was I dating a nine year old? I'm and no. I'm 14. I'm coming to your room, sis. No. Lily Rose 2 for 6 left the chat. I'm back. Lamal. Stu. Bro, that was too funny. Anyway, wanna face Rev? Sure. sure. IG, I'll go first. This is me. Oh my god, beautiful. Nice IG. Yeah. Bro, Stu. Me, me next. This is me. Aw, gorgeous. Cute IG. Meh. What? Finally me. My only good pick. Cute. Meh. Nice, bro. Me now? My best pick. You. It's okay. Nice. Wanna play him too? I sure. don't mind. They all join too. Ha 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 ha. Get scammed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where is? Ooh. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna vote a map. See ya. Map loading. Innocent. I'm innocent. Same. Hey. Death was that. Oh, let's find Lucas. Finally, hey guys. Jeez. Hi. I'm Sheriff. Shh. The murderer might hear you. Hi. Bish. Who TF are you? Oh, sorry. I'm Leah. Can I join your group chat? Sure, IG. Now. Lol, you're good, Leah. Thanks. Imogen. Can we priv chat? Sure. What is it? I like you. Yeah, I like you too. No, as in like. Like you. Oh, I like you too. Be my girlfriend. Oh my god, OFC. Let's go tell the chat. Guys, me and Imogen want to tell y'all something. Oh no. Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. Me and Lucas are together. What? Are you okay? Oh, um, yeah, I'm fine. Bro. Lamau, Capper, you clearly are jealous. What? Don't be so rude, Nat. I'm sorry, Leah. It's fine. Ugh. Anyway, wanna play Da Hood? Quickly. Wanna do matching? Avatars Lucas? OFC. They change. Oh my god, we look so cute. I agree. Ugh, why her? You. What? Shut up, guys. You didn't hear her? No, I get TG. Aw, bye, Immy. Finally, I want to say something. What? I saw Imogen with another guy. Nah, really? Yep, look, I took a screenshot to prove it. She shows a screenshot. Bro, that's not edited. What the hell is wrong with her? Let's not tell her we know. I'm back. Wanna match Fitz Lucas? Yes. But we just... Shut up! I, wa, what happened? Pick me, asshole now. Stop, Natasha. That's enough. Leah said you cheated. What? But I never cheated. He shows her the screenshot from Leah. That is my brother. Holy. We're back. I'm changing my fit. IDC. Stay mad. What the F? Bye. I'm a change. She changes. I'm back. Oh. Uh. What? I just, uh, didn't think you would be so rich. What? You only care about Robux. I'm richer. I have 100 billion million zillion quadrillion Robux. Ha 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 ha. You wish. Shut up, invisible. Stop. System, M for R C O O O has removed L one to. What the hell, bro? System, M for R C O O O has removed L V C for sheets. Thank God. The end. Jake sits on a park bench, holding a faded photograph of Leela. The sun filters through the leaves. He sighs, his mind lost in memories. How did we end up here? My approaches, sensing his somber mood. Hey, Jake, you've been lost in thought. What's on your mind? Just looking at this photo, it's like she's still here with me, even after all this time. It's okay to miss her. You had something special. But every time I think I've moved on, something pulls me back. It's like I'm stuck in this loop. It's natural to feel that way. You shared so much. But you need to start creating new memories too, you know? 
And how do I do that when I feel like a piece of me is missing? By allowing yourself to heal. It's a process, Jake. I just don't want to keep feeling like this. You won't, trust me. You have to take it one day at a time. Leela is unpacking boxes in her new apartment. Glancing at a picture of her and Jake, Tom enters with takeout. You've got to eat. Unpacking is exhausting. Thanks, Tom. I really need this. Still thinking about him, huh? I can't help it. He was a big part of my life, and now, I feel lost. You have to find a way to let go, Leela. You know that, right? I do, but it's hard. Every corner of this apartment feels like a reminder of him. It's okay to feel that way. Just don't forget to think about what you want, too. I want to be happy again, and I hope he finds that, too. You know, it's okay to prioritize your own happiness. You don't have to carry the weight of the past forever. I just wish it didn't hurt so much. Jake and Maya enter a coffee shop, chatting, when they spot Leela and Tom at another table. Oh, Jake. Leela, wow. It's been a while. We didn't expect to see you two here. It's a small town, right? So, how's the new place treating you? It's nice still settling in. It feels different, but good. That's great. I'm glad you're finding your footing. Silence lingers as they all take sips of their coffee. Jake, can we talk? Of course. What's on your mind? I've been thinking a lot about us. Yeah, me too. I feel like we need to let go of what we had. Let go. Just like that. I love you, Jake. But holding on to the past isn't fair to either of us. But we can still figure this out. We can still make it work. No, I want you to be happy. But we're both stuck. They share a moment, eyes locked, filled with unspoken love and pain. I don't want to lose you. You won't lose the memories. They'll always be part of you. She takes a deep breath, stepping closer. You'll always have a piece of my heart. But we both need to find our own paths now. In the park. You okay? No, I keep replaying everything. It's okay to grieve. You loved her. It feels like I'm losing a part of myself. But you're still you. You have to allow yourself to heal. Jake looks at her, realizing the depth of her care. Thank you for being here. You don't have to thank me. I just want you to be okay. Leela arrives at Jake's apartment one evening, her heart racing. She hesitates at the door before knocking. Jake? Jake opens the door, surprised and slightly guarded. Leela, what brings you here? Can we talk? They step inside, the atmosphere charged with unresolved feelings. What's on your mind? I came here to say goodbye properly. Goodbye? I need to focus on myself. I can't keep dragging us both through this. But we can still figure this out. It's not fair to either of us to keep pretending. They share a moment, eyes locked, filled with all the unspoken love and pain. I don't want to lose you. You won't lose the memories. They'll always be part of you. She steps back, feeling the distance growing. I need to find my own happiness, Jake. Days pass. Jake sits on the bench again, lost in thought. Maya approaches. You're here a lot lately. I can't help it. This place feels like home, and yet, it reminds me of her. You need to create new memories, Jake. You can't let her shadow everything. I know. It's just so hard. I'm here for you. I'll help you find new places, new experiences. Thank you, Maya. You have no idea how much that means to me. Leela stands at her new apartment window, looking out at the bustling city. She picks up the keepsake from Jake a small, hand-painted box he had given her. I hope you find happiness, Jake. She places it back in a box feeling a bittersweet smile cross her face as she remembers their good times. It's time to let go. I need to discover who I am without you. Tom enters, noticing her somber expression. You okay, Leela? Yeah, just reminiscing. It's normal to feel that way, but you're on a new journey. Embrace it. You're right. It's time to move forward. Jake and Maya meet at a local art gallery one weekend. Look at all these pieces. They're incredible. They are. It's nice to be here with you. They stop at a painting that catches Jake's eye. This one reminds me of those sunsets we used to watch together. You can still enjoy sunsets. You know, they're not just hers. I know. It's just a reminder of what was. Maya watches him, her heart heavy but understanding. You're allowed to remember while still moving forward. I appreciate that. You've been my anchor. Back in Leela's apartment, 
she decides to take up painting, inspired by the art gallery. This is my time to express everything I felt. She starts with bold strokes on the canvas, pouring her emotions into her work. This is for me. I need to feel free. Look at you. This is amazing, Leela. I feel so liberated. You're finding your voice again. Jake sits with Maya in a cozy calf, sipping coffee. You know, you should take up a hobby, something new to focus on. Maybe I could try painting or photography. Yes, you could capture all those sunsets you love. Or just capture my next adventure. Exactly. You have so much to explore. Leela attends an art class, surrounded by fellow artists. She feels a sense of belonging. Let your emotions flow on the canvas. Don't hold back. This is what I needed. As she paints, she feels a wave of liberation wash over her. One evening, Jake and Maya watch a sunset together at the beach. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's moments like these that remind me of the good things. You've been through a lot, but you're stronger than you know. I wouldn't have made it this far without you. Maya blushes, feeling a spark between them. I care about you, Jake. I care about you too, Maya. They share a lingering look, both feeling the tension but unsure of what it means. Many years later, Leela prepares for her first art exhibition. She stands in front of her paintings, anxiety evident. You've worked hard for this. You'll shine, I promise. What if no one likes my work? They will. Your art tells a story. As the evening progresses, people admire her work. Jake and Maya enter, surprised to see her. Leela, this is incredible. Thank you. It's been a journey. Maya observes, feeling a twinge of jealousy. You've come a long way. I have. It's about embracing who I am now. They share an understanding moment, reflecting on their respective journeys. Leela and Jake find themselves alone for a moment amidst the crowd. It's good to see you. You too. Your paintings are amazing, Leela. Thank you. This is my new beginning. I'm happy for you. You deserve this. They share a moment of connection, both feeling the weight of their history. I hope you're finding your own happiness. I'm trying. It's a process, but I'm getting there. Later that night, Leela steps outside for some fresh air. Jake follows her. It's been a journey for both of us, hasn't it? It really has. I've learned so much about myself. Me too. They look at each other, the past echoing in their eyes. I'll always cherish what we had. So will I. They stand in comfortable silence, the weight of their shared history hanging in the air in the night. Back in the calf, Maya watches as Jake and Leela talk. They've both grown so much. She takes a deep breath, feeling a mix of emotions. When Jake returns, he sees Maya's contemplative expression. What's on your mind? Just reflecting on how far we've all come. Yeah, it feels like a lifetime ago. They share a moment of understanding, the tension easing. Later, Jake is packing a suitcase, excitement in his eyes. Maya enters. Where are you off to now? I'm heading to a small coastal town. I want to find inspiration new places, new faces. That sounds incredible. You deserve this. I wouldn't have gotten here without you, Maya. Just promise to send me pictures. I promise. <laughs> I'm ready for this new adventure. Meanwhile, Leela is taking a painting class, surrounded by canvases. She's found a new passion for art. I just want to capture the emotions, you know? That's what art is all about. Let your feelings guide you. One evening, Jake calls Maya from a beachside calf. You should see this place. The sunsets are breathtaking. I can't wait to hear all about it. I wish you were here. Maybe next time. Yes, next time. As Leela continues to grow in her art, she attends another exhibition, feeling proud of her progress. Back in the coastal town, Jake captures the sunsets on camera, feeling alive and free. This, this is, is the beginning me. of something new. I'm finally new. finding my way. Months later, Jake and Maya sit on the beach, watching the sunset together. You've come a long way. I have, and it's all thanks to you. Maya looks at him, her heart racing. I care about you, Jake. I care about you too, Maya. Back in the city, Leela hosts another exhibition. As she stands in front of her paintings, she feels a sense of fulfillment. I can't believe how far I've come. You did this, Leela. You should be proud of yourself. As Jake and Maya walk along the shore, their hands brush together, both feeling the chemistry. Do you think we could explore what's between us? 
I would love that. They share a smile, both feeling the weight of their past lift as they step into the future together. Back in the city, Leela gazes at her paintings, feeling content. I hope you find your happiness too, Jake. Hey, sis. What do you want? Can I please play Roblox with you? Not a chance. Why would I want to play Roblox with my 8-year-old sister? Pretty please. I don't have anyone else to play with. Lizzie playing with your sister. Ugh, fine. That was so fun. Yeah, whatever. Hi, Lizzie. Oh, hi, Jake. And who is this? Hi, I'm Lizzie. She's nobody. What do you mean? Ugh, fine. She's my sister. Hi, I'm Leia. Hi, Leia. Would you like to play with me? Sure. No. Wow, Leia, you are such a pro. Thank you, Jake. Would you like to join our friend group? I would love- No way. She can't just join us. Why not? Your sister is so much fun. But she- No buts. She will join our friend group. Welcome to the group, Leia. Hello, I'm Ella. Welcome to our group. Jake told me about you. You're Lizzie's sister, right? Yup. Anyways, guys, let's play Murder Mystery. That was so fun. Leia, you were very good at being sheriff. She was okay, I guess. Okay? She was amazing. Thanks, guys. Leia, can I private chat you? Okay. Why is your sister so mean to you? What do you mean? She always interrupts you when you talk. It feels like she doesn't want you around. Honestly, I don't know. It's always been like that. I still love her, though. You're definitely one of a kind, Leia. Hey, you know what will bring up the mood? Let's play Murder Mystery. Sure. Good game. Yeah, thanks for playing with me. Let's go back to the group. Hey, guys. Hello, Leia. Did you just play Murder Mystery without me and Ella? Yes, but... So now you're stealing my friends. Oh my gosh, you are so annoying. Lizzie, chill. It's not that deep. Shut up, Ella. It's between me and her. I am so f***ing over this. I am gonna kick you out. Wait. What is it now? You are so mean to Leia. You treat her like trash. And the fact that she still loves you after how you treated her makes you so lucky. And the reason why we were playing together is because I asked her. I asked her cause. I, uh... Well, we don't have all day. I have feelings for her. The f*** bro, she's eight. What? What you didn't tell me she was eight. I thought she was your older sister. How? Like what made you think that? She's such a pro at murder mystery. Plus obviously she's more mature than you. Oh no you did not just go there. I'm not the one who has a crush on a f***ing eight-year-old. Um, guys, I don't think I feel comfortable in this group. Mommy said I'm not allowed to have a boyfriend. So, um, I think I'm just gonna quit. Leia, no, you shouldn't be the one who quits the group. Jake should quit. What, no? I literally started this group. It's okay, guys, I'm just gonna quit. Goodbye. See? I told you that would work. Haha, -ha. finally, the little brat is out. That was an amazing plan, Lizzie. I know, right? Like we totally fooled her. But guys, don't you kinda feel bad? I mean, she's only eight. Nah, why would I? She never leaves me alone. I'm 16. I need my space. Yeah, but... Ella, if you feel bad for her, just quit this group. Yeah, if you feel bad for her, then maybe you're a loser. Just like her. Fine then. I will quit. Bye forever. Finally, I'm out of that toxic group. Hey look, Leia is playing Royale High. I should join her. Hello Leia. Hi Ella. Oh, and this is my new friend Alana. Hi, I'm Alana and I'm 7. Hi Alana, I'm Ella and I'm 17. Anyways, Leia, I have to tell you something. So yeah, I'm very sorry. It's okay, Ella. I just can't believe she would do something like that. Your sister sounds like a total meanie. We should get revenge. Sure, but how? Well, I have something in mind. 
Okay, let's do it. Two days later. Wow, good game. Yeah, that was really fun. Hi, guys. Look who came running back to us. I bet you missed us, huh? So what do you want, loser? Well, I just want to say I'm sorry. I was in a really bad mood at that time. I wasn't thinking straight. And after some thinking, I realized Leia is a brat and she deserved to be treated that way. So, um, can I join back in the group? Wow, Ella. Thanks for finally coming to your senses. Yeah, and honestly, we knew you would run back to us. So obviously the answer is yes. Yes. We forgive you and we will take you back in. Thank you so much. By the way, since I'm back in, I want to introduce you to my cousin. Can I add her to the group? Of sure. course. Hi, my name is Le- Um, I mean, my name is Hazel. I'm 17 years old. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Let's play Tower of Hell. Okay. okay. That was fun. It was, but I was so bad at it. Me too. I keep falling all the time. Um, guys? Yes? Since we're friends now, I would like to tell you a secret. What is it? I found this website that gives you 100,000 Robux. Oh my gosh, for real? Yes, I tried it yesterday and it worked. Oh my gosh, Jake, we're gonna be rich. Yay! Okay, guys, so all you have to do is click this website. Aha, uh -huh, fooled you. You're not getting any Robux. Why would anyone even want to give you Robux? You don't deserve it. In fact, you don't deserve anything. Anyways, your Roblox account will be deleted. Permanently. Oh my gosh. My account is gone. Ugh. What is all the fuss about? Can't you see mommy's trying to read a book? Mom, my Roblox account is gone. Someone hacked me, ugh. All my limiteds, all my Robux, all my game passes, all gone. <laughs> Mom, why are you laughing? It's kind of a funny story. Like, why don't you tell her? Hey, sis. So, I know about your plan to kick me out of the group. That's why I wanted to get revenge. Ella helped me by getting you to let her back in, so that I could get into the group disguised as Hazel. And my friend Alana asked her hacker brother to create a website, that when you click it, it deletes your account. Don't worry though, your account will be back in a few days. Oh yeah. I also told mom the plan so, she bought me Robux to make my disguise. All this time it was you? Yeah, so don't be mean to your little sis. Um, I'm sorry Leia. I'm really sorry for how I treated you. It's okay sis. Well Lizzie, I hope you learned your lesson to make sure you will be grounded for two months. Fine, I guess I deserve it. Hey bestie, do you want to play Adopt Me? No. What? Why not? Adopt me is for babies. We were literally playing it yesterday. Also, I'm not your bestie anymore. What? You're joking, right? No. What did I even do? You're a bacon. So are you. Yeah, well, not for long. My mommy is buying me. Million Robux. That's awesome. Yeah, I know, and once I'm rich, I don't want to be seen with a loser like you. Wow. At least now I know your true colors. Yay, yay, whatever. Broke ass loser. Batty101 has unfriended you. I can't believe I used to call her my bestie. Well, now who can I play with? Oh, I know. I bet my big brother will play with me. He's so kind. Let's go ask him. The little boy goes up to his brother's room. Hey, Isaac. Sup, little bro? Can you play Roblox together? Of course. But don't you always play with that online friend of yours? Bella, is it? Uh, yeah, about that. He explains everything to his brother. Oh no, 
I'm so sorry that happened to you, bro. It's okay, I guess. That girl definitely doesn't deserve your friendship. How about I give you some Robux to cheer you up? Isaac, you really don't have to. No, really, I insist. Go get your iPad. You're the best. The little boy goes and grabs his iPad. Okay, let's log in. They both log in to Roblox. Wow, your avatar is pretty sad. Hey. Sorry. Anyways, here you go, lil bro. He gives him 800 Robux. Thank you so much. I'm going to look so cool. I'll go change now. I look so cool. Sure. Anyways, how about we make you a friend group? Okay, as long as they're nice. They joined the hood to find some friends. ABC for A. Okay, sure. McDonald's Wi Fi. Near Lither. You got this. Okay, me make the chat. ABC. Oh my god, just make the chat. He makes the chat. What should we play? Ragdoll. Okay, you know I sure, hate Ragdoll rag so much. I mean, yeah, I love Ragdoll. Ahem, pick me. Shut the f up, you ugly ass emo. Girl, look at yourself. You literally look like a fing Barbie horse girl. Shut up. Ahem, I mean, shut up. In my okay. head, weird. Her voice seemed oddly familiar for a second. It's probably nothing. Okay, that's enough. Let's just play Ragdoll. Okay, anything for you, cutie. They play ragdoll for two hours. That was so much fun. Agreed. Agreed. Seriously, you guys all pushed me to the ground 84 times. Exactly. exactly. Oh my god. What in the hell was that? Oopsies. Sorry about that. Sometimes I can be a little bit goofy. A little bit. You just turned into a demon. Moving on. Let's all do a name, age, and face reveal. Sure. sure. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Do you have something to hide? What? Well, what? No, I, I... Never mind. I'll go first cause I'm not a chicken. Unlike some people I know. Anyways, I'm Ashley. I'm 16 years old. And this is me. Cool. Pretty. Absolutely stunning, oh my god. Uh, I mean nice. Thanks, guys. Hideous. Shut the f*** up. Okay, my turn. I'm Tanner. I'm nine years old, and this is me. Nice bro. Handsome lil man. Adorable. Thanks. You guys are so kind. You look like a rat. No, he doesn't. Yeah, asshole. It's fine, I know I don't. Whatever, I'll go next, IG. I'm Isaac. I'm 17 years old, and this is me. Awesome, bro. Nice dude. Cool. The Batman actual f Never do that again. Okay, daddy. I think I'm going to be sick. Okay, me next. I'm Spencer. I'm 16 years old. And this is me. Radical dude. Nice. So fine and for what? Oh, um, I mean cool, I guess. Thank you so much, guys. You what the f***? In my shit, my voice changer. Uh hum, you look greasy. I am gonna drag your ass, so you better shut the f*** up. In mind, I swear to god I know that voice. Oh my god. No, it can't be Bella. Could it? Let me check her username. The little boy sees that her username is Spuddy101. It's the same username as Bella. It's her. Hey, horse girl. It's your turn. Ugh, fine. I'm Isabella. I'm 9, I mean 17 years old. And, uh... Give me a second. In mind, she cannot know who I really am, especially Isaac. She finds a Picturian Pinterest. And this is me. Cool. Tizem. Nice, I guess. Fine, you're pretty. Uh, guys, can I talk to you? Go ahead, lil man. But without Isabella. Goth. Guys, Isabella isn't who she says she is. Well, there's a shocker. Proof. I knew she was too rude to be pretty. She also lied about her age. Bella is nine, the same age as me. I know this cause she used to be my BSF. 
One day her mom got her a bunch of Robux, so she then dumped me because I was too poor. Oh yeah, and she uses a voice changer. Oh my god, she's that Bella? No wonder she's so rude. We have to expose her. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, let's go back to the GC. Isabella, we know you've been using a voice changer. No, I haven't. Stop. We're also aware that the picture you showed us isn't even your face. Well, what do you mean? Of course it's my face. Show us your real face now or we kick you. Ugh, fine. Bahahaha. <laughs> and you called me ugly. Shut the f*** up, you stupid bitch. Bounty 101 was removed. Finally. Well, now that that's over with. Spencer, Ashley, I have, I have something, something I need, I need to, to tell, tell you. You, you can, can go, go first. first. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll go, go first. first. Let's just say it at the same time. Okay. I, I really like, like you. you. Oh, oh my god. god. Will you be my girlfriend? Yes. Slay. Slay.